I'm going to make a new watch band for my watch. I've actually already made one, but I'm going to film this one for everyone. You'll probably catch glimpses of this one as I'm working, so I'll go ahead and show it to you. This is the first watch band I made, and I'm going to make another one like it today, only in different colors. So when I started, I had my existing watch band that was worn out and gross, and I used that to make my pattern. I traced around it and created a pattern just like the existing watch band, except I made it a little shorter this time on the end because I have small wrist and this existing watch band was always a little long. So what I have here is a pattern that's exactly the size that I want the finished watch band to be, but I want folded edges, so I have to make it a little bit bigger. I decided for my folded edge, I wanted to fold under 5 30 seconds of an inch. I felt like 1 8 wasn't quite enough. I wanted to make sure it caught when I stitched it, so I went with 5 30 seconds. You can use a ruler and mark along the edges 5 30 seconds of an inch and then connect those lines to create that. Or if you happen to have some grading tools, which I do, you can use that to accurately create a margin that's 5 30 seconds of an inch all the way along that edge. So these are grading tools. What I have here is 5 30 seconds of an inch and 5 16 of an inch grading tools. And the reason I need 5 16 of an inch is because so I've marked the, the fold line at 5 30 seconds of an inch in. But the problem is when you're folding, you can't really see that fold line. So what I like to do, and we'll see this later, I like to mark double that folding allowance and give myself another line that's double that allowance in, and then I know where to fold to. So that's the reason I need this 5 16 of an inch grading tool, because I'm going to use it to show me exactly where I need to put this folded edge. But you see at the top, I've decided to add a little flower, and that's going to be a separate piece of leather. So the patterns that I'm using here, I've had to divide those in half because the top part is the flower. That's the flower pattern. And then this part will go under it. And that will give me the entire watch band. I've got some scrap alligator here. Boy, that is almost not wide enough but we're going to make it work. Get the pieces marked on. I'm going to cut them out. And by the way, don't worry about this. I am using my handy dandy little heat erasable pens. So this is not an ink pen. This is a heat erasable pen. And it will come off if I need it to. Try to develop the ability to cut accurately exactly on the outside of a line, exactly on the inside of a line, or exactly down the middle of a line. That is incredibly precise, but there are times when you're making very small things and that level of precision is called for. This is the way you want to use your alligator, to where those are the only scraps you have left. Alligator's expensive. Use it down to nothing. I'm going to use my 5 16 grading tool here and just score a mark in there then I'm going to darken it. It's on the back so I'm just going to use a regular pen. But this will show me where I want that edge to fold to. Now I could create this line on the pattern and then just mark it on using the pattern but so far I've been too lazy to do that if I decide to start making these watch bands on a regular basis, then I might do that. And what I'm going to do here is cut off the tip. And then I won't have an ugly fold at the end. Goodness, this knife is dull. <sighs> How embarrassing. I'm going to try to skive from 
the line that I'm folding to, not from the fold line out. Imagine that this is a piece of leather that you're getting ready to skive. The dotted line is the fold line, and the solid line is the line that we're folding the edge to meet. If we do a skive like this, so we're skiving just from the fold line over to the edge, and here's what's going to happen when we fold it. You're going to have something that looks like this. So now this is gone and it's folded up here, but it's full thickness right here. So you've got a, a heavy edge and then your skive comes down. On the other hand, think about what happens if you skive from that point where the edge is going to be, if you skive from there out. So right here at the fold line, you've got half thickness. So that means when you fold it, you end up with a profile. That looks like this. When you take this piece here and put it over here, you end up with one even thickness of leather because they exactly match and you don't have a big bulky edge. It's neat and it's easier to fold. It's also easier said than done on alligator. See, there, I just lost my corner. Piddle, piddle, piddle. Well, we'll just have to live without it, won't we? See, I left that corner because I was pool scarred. I would just break down and put these lines on the pattern and stitch it on the sewing machine then I could mark it on there but I am steadfastly refusing to do that it makes far too much sense again these are called grading tools and you can use them when you're creating patterns because then you can accurately add an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch or whatever they're pretty hard to find. I can get them, but they're kind of expensive, so I don't have any in stock, but I can get them if anyone needs them. For this folded edge, I'm going to use the Aquilum SG, because it is just such a wonderful, sticky little glue. It'll hold that edge down. Sometimes edges want to peel back up. I'm going to make my flowers this lovely, rich brown. I know that's kind of an odd choice for flowers, but I don't care, I like it. Oh, sometimes I cut with scissors and sometimes I cut with a knife. I'm just as accurate with a knife. So if you're better with one than the other, then use whichever one makes you happy. You will have to get good with a knife though, because there are places that scissors cannot reach. Now I'm going to fold this outer edge right up to that line. And thanks to good skiving, it folds easily. You cannot get a good folded edge if you can't skive. Okay, now I'm going to position the flowers over the end of the watch band. to draw where I'll be stitching the flower petals and then I'll st stitch the watch band together. I've got the lining in and there we go. Finished watch band and now I have to clean up my bench. <laughs>